Okay, here we are, the finished product. This is the bed that Grandad built for Riley. Uh, so this uh, little bed has been uh, conceived, designed and uh, built by myself, Grandad, uh, for Riley's two-year-old uh, birthday. This is a transition bed, so when they move from a cot to a, uh, a big bed, I build the, I've always built the kids a little bed based on a cot size mattress. So Riley says Grandad's airplane when I'm flying, so it's not an aeroplane, it says Riley's airplane. So a quick, uh, quick tour. Twin fin, much better performance. Uh, the, the, the concept is obviously the wings, she, she climbs in over the side, the low edge there, and the high side where the windows are uh, to stop her rolling out of bed at night. So her head goes up at this end, where she's currently got a bunch of toys. Bookshelf at the back uh, for the uh, flight manuals and associated paraphernalia with the uh, flying aircraft. Her uh, feet will be down this uh, end of the bed. And uh, this is pretty much what she sees when she wakes up in the morning. So let's do a quick tour of the, uh, the console. So she's got a bunch of, uh, bunch of things to play with. Here we have, uh, try and get it to focus, reading lights and uh, landing lights. So I'll just slew back around. The uh, reading lights are on either side of the fin on the inside, so she can be lying in bed on a pillow. And reading. Landing lights are obviously on the leading edge of the wing. Both sides, as all good aircraft. Other, uh, other lights that she has on a console are here, tail light and uh, one the label's got to be fixed up and the nose light. So they, uh, they sit up on the outside, that's the red tail lights and uh, down the front of the aircraft, the nose lights. So all these lights can be used as night lights depending on what our parents decide. Got a few little sound generators uh, on the flight deck uh, which she likes playing with. Uh, got this one here, this is her current favourite. Uh, on, on the other side, uh, we've got a few more different, uh, so these are sort of Space Invader type uh, sounds. Um, so she can have a couple of things going at once. So the way it is, if you see that little hole underneath the uh, where the joystick is, so like all good uh, fighter aircraft, her little feet go into a, uh, a well, and that's where she has her feet, so she sits here, and she can sit up and play on the, uh, bite, uh, the joystick. So it's a, a modern aircraft, so like all modern aircraft, it's glass. This is Atari uh, game, so she can play... Uh, there's a, thousands of games that she can play with uh, as she thinks. So it moves the joystick around, fires the buttons and the uh, thoughts and bombs and stuff and so forth goes on. Uh, games ranging from for little kids all to, uh, to big kids. I didn't forget one light. She's got more strobe light, lights down here. So if she turns this on, she's got a number of different directions. The aircraft actually has uh, strobe lights. Up on the fin, down on the uh, wing, and in the front that you might have saw underneath the console as well. So this is what the aircraft looks like, and it's uh, finished state. And, uh, should show you one more thing. I'll just turn the lights off for a better effect. So, so in the evening. She can actually have a little bit of play. And the aircraft kind of grows with her. There's a lot more complications and things that she can, uh, as she gets older, and more tactile. Anyway, there you have it. The bed built for Riley with love from Grandad.